Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, I want to share with you how to play Green Onions, as recorded by Booker T and the MGs on guitar. Now in this video, we're going to look at a number of different ways of playing this. I'm going to show you first starting out the classic kind of bass line guitar part. It's probably the easiest way to play this. And then I'm going to show you a way that I arranged the organ part for guitar. And then I'll also show you those sort of stabs that Steve Cropper is doing that make this just a lot of fun to play. Now this song is actually based off something I talk a lot about here on the channel called the 12 bar blues. This is a 12 bar blues, but it's in a minor key. It's in the key of F minor. I'm going to break it all down for you step by step. But before we dive in, if you're new to the channel and you like blues guitar, I want to hook you up with something right away called my fretboard guide. And this is going to show you the five must know chords and scales for mapping out your entire fretboard. And this is so useful for learning to improvise or just learning to play songs on your guitar and having a framework. It's just a one page PDF. You you can print it out and keep it on your desktop or on your music stand as you're putting all this together. All you got to do to grab your copy is go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. You can download it completely for free as my gift to you. So hope you enjoy that. And with that said, let's break it down. All right, so as I mentioned, this is a blues in the key of F. Now, the guitar part starts out with this really cool bass line that sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So we're starting out here on the note F, which is the first fret of the low E. We're gonna play that note on the downbeat. We'll go one and, then we'll play it two more times. Two and. Then on beat three, we're gonna switch to the fourth fret instead of the first fret, so the same string. And then we'll go down one string here to the first fret on the fifth string. That's gonna go one pluck on each of those last two notes. So it's gonna go. If I counted the rhythms, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. This song has what we call a swing feel to it. So when we play those eighth notes, we give a little swing to it, like one and two and three and four and. Now with my strum hand here, I'm going down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. We're gonna play this four times. Okay, now I am using another technique in there as well called palm muting, and that's where I use just this part of my palm on the string, take a little bit of ring out of the note. So instead of, it becomes like this. So we're gonna play that four times, then we play the exact same thing, but we shift it down one string. So that's gonna start on the first fret of the fifth string. We'll go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that's the same thing, just shifted down one string. Then we'll come back up to the one beginning on the note F. So we've got F and then a B flat and then back to F. Now when we go to that B flat, we're gonna play it two times here. back to two times on the F. So, so far we've got four times on the F, two times on B flat, and then two times back on F. That's gonna sound like this for the first eight bars. One, two, three, four. Go to B flat, back to F. From there, we get to the last four bars, and this is called the turnaround. Here, we're gonna play this. So 
So the cool thing about this is we're actually taking a riff through the 12 bar blues. So here I'm starting up now on the note C, the third fret of the fifth string. I'll play the same riff. We're gonna go three, 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 six, then three on the fourth string. Do that one time, then drop it down to the first fret one time, then return home to that home key, the F note there, two times. So the last four bars go one. So that's it, that's the first part that I want you to know, and that is almost like a bass line, right? Like a bass guitar part. Let's put it all together, we'll play it one time through. I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. Switch. Back to F. Up to C. Flat, F. All right, from there, I wanna show you the organ riff, and this is pretty similar to what Booker T is playing on organ, but on guitar, here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. All right, so we're starting out on an F minor chord. And I play this just as the top four strings here. Three, one, one, one. It's like part of my F minor bar chord. But what I do is I put my thumb on that first fret, the low E. Now here, you could play this with a pick or you could play it, I'm using a thumb pick and kind of more of a finger style approach. I'm gonna play six, four, with the thumb, and then I'm gonna pinch these three strings here. Just one, one, and one on the top three strings, barring there. Then come back to the fourth string, so. One and two and. Then we're gonna go. That's an A flat triad on Strings four, three, and two, I'm playing fret six, five, four. Looks like your A flat chord there, your bar chord. Just three notes of it. And then to one finger here on same strings at the third fret doing a bar. So fourth string, third string, second string, all barred at the third fret. And there I'm gonna go. Spend one beat each, so it's one and two and three and four and. Now sometimes I do this and hammer into that first note. So that's open, hammering with my thumb. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Then I'm gonna play a similar riff here going to the four chord. So here I'm hammering open fifth string into that note B flat, which is just like our bass line, right? And then I'll grab a B flat bar chord there. Then I'm gonna play a D flat to an E flat. That's three, one, two starting on the fourth string. Then move it up. So I got. Then back to F. Two times. So you'll notice that it actually mirrors the bass line. So we're following that same thing, which is leading us back to the overarching progression, which is the 12 bar blues. Here's what the first eight bars sound like. A one, two, three, four. B flat. Back to F. 
and then I'm gonna go to the five chord. Here I'm gonna slide in into the note C and play the same thing that I did on B flat, just two frets higher. So it's a C chord to an E flat to an F triad. Then down to B flat, back home to F. So here's the entire organ riff played as one piece. One, two, three, four. All right, the last part that I want to show you is just these sort of stabs that Steve Cropper does. And it's really cool because it, it's slightly different than what you would typically play, I think, over something like an F minor blues like this. So what's happening is if we go back to that bass line part, we have these just little, what I play is just a double stop here on the third fret of the second string and the third string. Just do an upstroke and it comes on the and of four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and but that's over. Right, so you hear it, how it fits in the progression there. And then what you do is you anticipate it into the four chord. So when, when the band goes to B flat, then you go up here to the eighth fret. And then for the C, you're gonna use the 10th fret. So that's gonna sound like this when I put it into that 12 bar blues progression. One, two, and three, and four. Two, and three, and four. all right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it all together so you can hear all three of those parts. So I recorded the bass line. Just going into my looper pedal, I recorded the stabs that we just played. And then I'm going to play that organ part on top. And here's what it sounds like all together. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So take your time with those parts and realize that you don't have to play the organ part. That's probably the most complicated part, but it's also the part I think that sounds kind of the coolest. And then if you were playing in a band, say you had an organ player, then I would just play the guitar parts. So take your time with this one and hope you enjoyed this deep dive on green onions. Now I am gonna post another lesson that's gonna detail out note for note how to play the guitar solo. So stay tuned for that. And to help you even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And when it comes to improvising and just having a system for being able to map out the entire fretboard, this is gonna be one of the most useful pages you'll ever see on this topic and you can grab it completely for free just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click that first link down below as my gift to you hope you enjoyed that and if you enjoy blues guitar be sure to check out this video next